Good morning, and welcome to your weekly message from First Congregational Church, Milford, New Hampshire. I'm your pastor, Al Hoyt. Today is Thursday, July 28th. So I conducted a funeral for Ann Hutchinson yesterday at the Green Lawn Cemetery in Mount Vernon. I'll be conducting another funeral um, for, I believe it's Joan Barrett in, um, at the funeral home at 11 o'clock this morning. So I hope you managed to stay out of the heat during that pretty brutal heat wave we had last week. It's been so much nicer now. It's the, the days have been great for sleeping. They've been cool and dry. And right now we've got absolutely gorgeous weather. <clears throat> I understand it might rain a little later on, but that's the way summers are around here. So this week coming up, um, this Sunday, July 31st, is my last Sunday before I go on vacation. And as has become the tradition at the church here, our last Sunday before we go on vacation is Hawaiian Shirt Sunday. So wear your best, most colorful Hawaiian shirt to worship on Sunday, and we'll have a good smile at all the different colors that we see. An important note, if you're one of those who worships from home and gets your communion elements from the church in advance, you need to pick them up this week between 9.30 and 1.30, today and tomorrow because the church office will be closed all of next week. Carol's on Cape Cod, and I will be in Pennsylvania. So Carol will be checking her messages and um, checking her emails, but she will not be in the office, and there won't be anybody here to, to hand out elements. So if you need them, pick them up this week, today and tomorrow. Um, as I mentioned, this is, this, <clears throat> this is the, my last Sunday before I go on vacation. I'll be gone until the 22nd of August. Um, I will not be recording weekly messages in the month of August. Um, we'll take the month off and start back up again, probably just before Labor Day. So um, it'll give you all a, a break and give us all something to look forward to going forward in, in the fall. Hard to believe that summer is almost halfway over at this point. Um, I will be doing... Um, I'll be doing a wedding in Maine um, in August 13th. Vern and I will be in, in Gettysburg for the most of next week. And then next Sunday, January, uh, G August 7th, Cindy DeAndrea will be leading worship. Uh, she's been authorized by the deacons to, um, to offer communion. And in the afternoon at 3 o'clock is the Nashua Silver Knights baseball game. Uh, if you have made a reservation for a ticket and haven't paid yet, you can pay me on the day of the game. But we'll be, we'll be just meeting at the stadium, go right to the will call ticket window, ask for your, your tickets from the First Congregational Church. Do not take anyone else's tickets, because if you take them and then go in, they can't get in. So... Um, as I said, go to the will call table. It's just inside the gate <clears throat> and tell them you're from First Congregational Church and how many tickets you need and they'll have them for you right there. Uh, they've been very cooperative and it's been really wonderful. I'm looking forward to that. We always have a good time. This Thursday, uh, Garden Friends will be meeting from 9.30 to 12.30 or to 12 o'clock. Um, I hope I know many of you have been here. If you haven't walked to the grounds lately, please walk the grounds. They're absolutely glorious right now. <laughs> so there's been an awful lot going on this these last couple of weeks. Um, an awful lot of, we've had to say goodbye to an awful lot of dear friends. Um, but it's also kind of brought the church together a little bit more than usual. And I think that's absolutely wonderful. <clears throat> I think that we need to remember at times like this, when someone in our church family loses someone important, loses a family member, that it's kind of incumbent on all of us to reach out and support that person, to be what the church calls us to be, to help and support those who are suffering right now. Um, it, it's, it's a vital part of who we are as a congregation and who we are as a people. So, um, I know many of you know that, that 
Jim Philbrick's uh, ma funeral mass will be at St. Patrick's tomorrow at 10 a.m. Um, I'm not able to be there um, due, to, due to a dental appointment, but I hope that many of you will make the effort to go over to St. Patrick's and support Sally. Um, and with that, please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So I'm looking forward to our time away. I'm looking forward to spending some time touring battlefields and, and um, going up to Maine where my family homestead is and, and visiting visiting relatives and, and going back to the cemetery and visiting visiting with my grandparents. Um, it's just it's just a great time to do that. I'm looking forward to coming back, but um, it has been an incredibly busy couple of weeks for us, at, uh, probably a bu busy couple of months for us, and I could really use the time off to relax. So um, we do have pastoral care available for anyone who needs it. Um, if you need something, just call the office. Cindy DeAndrea will be available um, for most of that time, and then we have someone else who will be covering when Cindy's not available. So. Um, please don't hesitate to call if you need if you need pastoral care. Um, and until that, until then, until I see you again, probably in the last week of August, take good care of each other. Take good care of yourself. And God bless you.